fun fact, my earliest memory of drawing is drawing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, particularly Master Splinter, for some reason. I got my dad to draw Master Splinter for me when I was like four or five. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Anyway, <laughs> that's what got me drawn in full circle. Here we go. Some things change, but some things don't change. So we'll, I guess we'll start with like his mask. So we'll go like here, like this tick going this way, right? Coming around his eyes. Like that, right? And then frowning going this way as well. some lines because it's like fabric and stuff so there's eyes in here so we'll go like real sort of pointy kind of eyes right like an arrow there comes back and up into the corner and you got these like glowing white eyes another here and then up into the corner of that eye. Like so. And then, so we've got like some more sort of folds and stuff on the inside of this. Coming down his nose and all around his eye and stuff like that. Very light sort of lines like so. So the headband then like comes across his eye Right, it comes over his eyebrow. And it can be, it's kind of a rough style. So it's like torn and stuff. Right, you have all these torn zigzag lines and stuff on the top of it, right? So coming all around his eye. So this will eventually go behind his head, right? So it curves around here. Go all the way around the back of his head and then sort of bumps down. Right, like this on the sides. Right, and we'll just bring the mask down around his face. And again, we're going sort of a dark, intense, rough. So this goes like across his nose and his mouth and that sort of round turtle head of his. Okay, that kind of a thing. And then like some more sort of texture lines and dirt and folds and stuff just coming around his cheeks and everything, like sitting on his face. Right, then top of his head, so it comes out from behind this mask, comes around, right? It's kind of flat on top, okay? And then we can see just the tied headband at the back. And then we can see like some more sort of frowning lines and temple lines for the side of his head and stuff here. Some more wrinkles for frowns and stuff all along his forehead. And then because he's a reptile, so they like to draw in these kind of amphibian. Reptile? Amphibian? What's a turtle? Amphibian, I think. So he's got like scales and stuff on him. You want to give it some texture. Not too much. That'll do mostly. Do, 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 do. Right. So then his cheeks, right? So it's round sort of cheeks here. Curving around like that. Coming out from the side of the headband.
okay and then this will come down to his chin right so we go sort of down this way okay and this just goes down around his chin which is just down here and back up and then his mouth sort of starts underneath the corner of his eye like here right so you'll have like the corner of his mouth there and then underneath there as well right so quite wide and then it's just this sort of line that comes down you know you can leave gaps if you want sometimes that looks a bit more realistic when you leave a little bit of a gap as well Do, do, do. And then some more sort of textures. Reptilian skin, amphibian skin, they keep saying reptile. But you know what I mean, like scales and stuff on that face. And I think we can see like bottom lip there. So kind of like a little bit like coming in underneath here this kind of a thing just on his chin okay it's a real serious looking All right so anatomy right so center line for his chest right we'll go just kind of here all right this is like the shell chest you know so it's, that's the middle and then the top which is like his collarbone comes out this way we got like some of his headband that comes down but we'll just add these first and this goes in behind his shoulder like here somewhere and this will have like an edge and like some shell lines So it's like a chest muscle sort of thing, but more of a turtle shell. So it's got like textures on it. Same on this side, pretty much. Going under his armpit there. Okay. Shoulders come out from there. So shoulder muscles are basically these sorts of love heart kind of shapes, right? You got this sort of bump and then it bumps around like so. And then it goes in like that. And then you've got, you always have sort of deltoid muscles inside there and again like scales and dots and textures and all that kind of stuff same on the other side so just like that shoulder love heart sort of shape curving around like so deltoid muscles okay some scales And then these shoulders are attached to the face with the trapezius, so it just goes down like so. And then the same on the other side, down there. And you've got like some hatching lines just for the trapezius muscle, and then his neck muscles go down towards the collarbone. 
and then another one back going this way. You can do as much of those now as you want. Neck muscles all in here. Like so, and then like scales and textures and stuff. Pretty much that's the neck. Right, so his shell, we can see at the back, right? So it kind of like just bumps sort of around like so. And then it has like lots of textures and stuff on it as well. So like lots of this kind of stuff, just carving around. So now, rest of his anatomy, so arms, and then abs, and he's got like a belt on sort of thing. I think we can see the, his shell at the back. So, let's see, bicep, this comes out here, All right, tricep, out that way, down, right, and then like the bicep, sort of the muscles go down that way. Okay, same on this side, so bicep, out and in, tricep, out there, down to the elbow, right? Then he's got like an elbow pad on, so it's like this bumpy thing here. Okay. Coming out from around the arm. Like so. And then his forearm just curves down like from behind that way. Scales and stuff. Forearm on this side. That way. Okay, so his belly sort of goes in. So we got like ribs just kind of going in this way and then down and then we can see a belt but we can just we'll do the like ribs on this side first well, it's like his shell it's not really ribs i guess okay and then he has his forks and stuff coming up on the belt we can see the shell at the back here and so we can see there's just a bit of the shell there This is just like abs, kind of, but it's mostly shell. Textures and stuff like that. Okay, so he has his forks and headband coming down this way. So we got to draw them in. And you raise anything, you draw over. So headband spikes, right? real tatty and torn and stuff on the end. Well, up from behind his head, right? And you'll raise anything you draw over. And then we can see fork. So the fork in behind goes into the belt, right? So we can do it. We'll do different both sides. We'll do one behind just 
that's the way it is in the picture. So we curve it around for the handle. And then this will go, I'm just using a ruler just to keep it a bit straighter. This will go down this way. Down there. And then the fork sort of comes out at the top and from behind. There, and then it just curves down. It'll go off my page. It's like a holster for his weapon. So it's like this belt, utility belt sort of thing. There. It's got like a bolt, buckle thing. And this goes down like so. And then this has all sorts of these, you know, handle lines. And some wrapped around here. Okay. And the other one, same thing again. So you do like this ellipse for the top, except this one, like the headband hangs behind this one. So we'll draw this one first this way. I go in that direction and then this goes down there. Marker is wasting. And then, so yeah, all this wrapped bandage around it, around the top, and then this fork goes down that way. Like so, and then this comes around down. It's going to be here. Sort of all this wrapped stuff. It goes in. Might have kind of an edge line to it. Do that on this side as well. And then bandage wrapped all around this. Okay. Then this goes into a holster. So it's like another sort of leather sort of pocket kind of thing all here and then the belt comes across the belly like so up under here out the other side kind of around this way texture is all on it because it's leather this comes out around his back here And then the other headband, we're going to put it behind just to keep it a bit more interesting. And then this comes sort of down to like all these rips and tears. So we're hanging down in here now. Like that. And then textures and stuff all over his shell and his skin. So this is like shell at the back, ab.
like so. Nice. I think that's the best I can do. Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.